Alright, welcome to Nobrian Sawar, do IG Nobrian Seka YouTube channel. Untuk game of future, game pertama Onyx versus FF Esport ya. Yeah. Di semifinal game of future Rusia ya. Ya bis uh, reaction untuk RRQ. Jadi ya kita bisa tonton sendiri hasilnya gimana ya. Tiga game btw. Let's see. Onik. Nice, boy. That's amazing. That's amazing. Cloud T juga bocor di situ. Martis mantap. Martis jungler ya. Lifai jalan kaki anjir. They did something interesting. They pulled out the um Lunox in the jungle. Up against yeah. a team like Onik, we got to see how this kind of plays out, right? Can it kind of deal the dam as they're looking for and take these? Lihat ya, karena di sini FF ngalahin Black Smith ya. Eh, apa itu lupa aku. Ngalahin tim Blacklist ya. Tim Filipin ya. Might not be that good anymore because that means that the Claude is already very strong. They'll be attacking with wind and nature, and the purify is even, even uh, more. Yeah, Kairi is in it. And of course, Apex 47 with a just a little bit of an opening can pop the Minoan Fury. Yeah, Ooh. now you're seeing to fight it out over this turtle. Trying Ooh. to take advantage. Kairi, Kairi, nice. Fusion, able to claim it for Onik and maybe able to get a kill. Tries to go in, find alien. Tak masuk ya. The distance, but they were able to take this first neutral objective. Nice teamik, betul. Looking really good for. Dan bisa dibilang untuk Nana kalah level ya di sini. Not the best performance from him in the M5 World Championship, but definitely. Bahkan lawan atau melawan Ruby yang mana itu. Now in the playoffs, he's looking really good when it comes to his form. Yeah, definitely looking really strong so far. That Romer. massive XP boost for the side of Onik. They are yep, Romer with. in terms of gold already, leading by 1200. And we know Onik is one of those teams. Nice, very good. Even with the littlest advantage, can go a mile. Right now, Fireflux Esports. This may be their toughest okay. challenge yet. But let's not discredit them. They did take down one of the highest decorated teams inside of the Philippines, yeah. shutting down Blacklist right before this yesterday inside of the quarterfinals and now having a chance to take down one of the top okay. teams from Indonesia Rosa nice Ooh, pasifnya masih hidup lagi ya getting online with the Nana gonna go ahead and proc that Molina's gift to keep them in this game neither side has fought Anjay. so far super repot kan ya Molina ya with all due fairness for Fireflux kelihatan di sini jauh banget ya perbedaan FF dan juga wasting some of their early HP or early deaths whatsoever Like even TNT committing the brilliance just to get out. I understand the situation where they only team fight around the neutral objectives and they only have to wait for the late game anyways. Don't be overly aggressive. But Onik decides, okay, why don't we try to steal this? Kyrie is a retribution a level ahead. But the thing is, if they can find a way to disrupt TNT in the early game, he won't be able to deal the early game damage he's looking for. And I think that's. What Onik is trying to lean into, they're like, okay, they're going a little annoying. Okay, rotasi ke turtle di sini. Comfortable, we can kind of lean into that and make that work in our favor. Di sini demiknya gitu sih, awal-awal. Clapping back, doing a good job on kind of contesting the invasions from Onik in their jungle. However, they're not able to defend the turtle as Onik just secure it easily. Kyrie still has the retribution, steals the buff. Nice. Classic Kyrie from Onik. Yeah, classic. Oof. Big play from Boots. First blood, nice. 
first blood on the board for another kill yeah oh man that that's great aggression from onyx first they went in for the purple buff or uh, an attempt on the invade and what sure that fireflux esports was able to okay pindah posisi untuk cloud they had to utilize their mino and fury on apex 47 and the early stages of the game that ultimate is quite long when it comes to like it's a it's a cooldown so afterward onyx had the free pass to go to the turtle then Kyrie didn't have to commit anything any retribution for that so they had another round of um, invasion onto the orange buff this time of fireflux esports so that's well calculated and very natural kind of movements coming out from onyx no okay. well that apex 47 every time he commits the mino and fury that does not net a kill for fireflux esports they buy what one or two minutes of of gameplay you want to listen definitely see me? kind of leaning forward into that i mean you you were talking about the lunox in the jungle being good with early no, jungle, very good. able to take her down that's gonna put her in a little bit of a disadvantage rotating around the yep, map betul. definitely gonna have to be a little bit more careful i mean they lost that first neutral objective turtle and then also losing their jungler on top of that is gonna put onik at a big advantage now leading by 3,000 gold okay, mati di situ jelas. needs to get out of there albert trying to get the kill kairi will get there first Two kills left unanswered so far. The last sing sing sing. Onto the orange buff. I'm offended. Over there from Ooh. Keyboy, and it looks like he was. Wah ini terlalu mulus pasti. Jadi bilang, gak kosong bisa ini. Oh my god. Dan kita bisa lihat. Then, the Pembalasan dendam mungkin. The Shura's aura, or wrath, Shura's wrath from his Martis. My god, that was. He planned that so well. He knew that eventually the Minotaur will go for the Minoan's Fury. Turtle tanpa kontes. Paid dividends for Onyx again. They're just taking away farm from TNZ. And as a Lunox, you don't want to ever be in this kind of spot. It's difficult to play catch up when you're playing Minotaur. Okay, MM. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle now. Tapi Lunox juga ikut late game sih. Jadi menurutku sih okay okay. Cuma Luna kalau dia agresi terus pusing coy. Almost able to claim that turret on the top side, putting a lot of pressure into the mid lane and it will fall. Now they'll be able to invade the jungle of Fireflex Esport with ease. As you are lot this to intercept. Another turret will fall into Onyx hands. Looks like Alien was not able to fend it off in the invasion on to the purple buff. A possible recipe made for disaster for Fireflex Esport. The Lunox jungle just not picking up the pace so far. Again, they forced the min on Fury that 60 seconds at level 1, where you don't have a big ultimate. Then Kyrie, with a massive level advantage over TNZ. Okay, it's to. Untu. Nah, nah, selamat ya. What the hell? Kyrie's level 12 at this point. Oh, Kyrie. Able to get that kill. I didn't even. Where did Apex 47 go? It was so quick. I blinked, and he disappeared. Kyrie over here pulling out magic tricks. Albert. Able to claim the tier 2 turret on the top side. Fireflex Esports now stripped down to their tier 2 turrets. Yeah. Lot. Mungkin end bisa sih. Was literally like a fraction of a second in a Minotaur. A tank hero, a tanky hero. Gone in a fraction of a second from the combo of Onyx. And it was just the one miss, one uh, displacement tool coming up from Kyrie that the mortal coil was used and um, was able to snag Apex 47 in a bad spot. It allowed for the, the rest of Onyx. I don't even remember who else is there. I only remember Kyrie. Okay, just, a lot. The um, immense amount of farm in this Martis. Level 13 at 9 minutes. Level 13 at 9 minutes. <laughs> He has double oh the amount of gold with Tinzi word. right now, too. Tinzi was at 3,000. Oh He's sitting at 6,000 right now. Three kills in and another objective into his hands. Definitely taking advantage of the early phase. Can still play. Called in, though. Stan. Okay, you see, though. One man army. Use the black shoes. We know Oof. We'll drop down from we'll here. Watch out, our lot. We'll take him. We know that. That is it, though. And we'll know. Fortunately, that's a Minotaur, but he did Lord. commit the ultimate again, so that's uh, another 60 seconds that they don't have the Minon Fury. On defense mode now for Fireflux Esports, so what they can do is just to wait for Onyx to get in front of their base. And the best case scenario for Fireflux Esports at this point is to not lose any inhibitor turn. That is the okay. only inhibitor, yeah, that's the answer, yeah. Actually hope for but at this point. 
will Onik allow them to do that? It seems like Onik are, are clinically taking this, taking over this game. And they have a composition to be able to kind of end this early if they kind of play it right, right? You see in Fireflex on a stand, yep. not trying to allow this Lord oh, to God, take what? this inhibitor. It will fall. Looks like Onik was not able to open up the base. They may have to put punches here. They don't have minions in every single lane to be able to contest, but they may still go in for it. I mean, they're early aggressive for a reason, right? They picked this composition with Kyrie on the Martyrs to bridge that gap in the early yep. game, and that is exactly what they are leading. Highest kill oh, in the game, 3-0-0. Aggressive. Martyrs, you can get that team. I'm out of words. It's uh, on it just, uh, like I said, systematically, clinically going for the siege. Ooh. Safely, key boy. Nice, they make. Send it connected on Apex 47. Almost burst it down, Albert. Chunking him very low. Ooh. We'll make his way back over to the base with some region. Definitely rethinking that decision. Need to be a little bit more careful. I mean, he's easily bursted down. And he's the beefiest one on the team. So he's definitely going to have to be careful. I mean, they don't have a strong frontline composition. They have him and Alien to be able to contest. Yeah. And right now, Onik already leading the way, almost up by 10,000 gold in the first 12 minutes of today's match. Whew. Tough break for Farflux Esports. They yeah. did secure their, their turret down to the bottom lane, but it seems like they can't get out of their base. And Onyx game plan, okay, let's forego our own jungle. Let's take over. Okay, kita lihat di situ ada yang ngantuk gitu ya. Karena terlalu mendominasi ya. Kayak gini end sih. Bisa ini harus. Tidak kepancing. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Unok gak kuat. In a perfect manner. They got locked is it too? Sunshine though, top side. We'll be able to clear some of those minions, trying to open up the opportunity, trying to find a trade somewhere on the map. And a good job finding his way to the top side to be able to get those minions there. I don't think you'll be able to clear it though. You are going to go ahead and see uh, Boots try and get there in time. He may be able to get it though, but I, I like where his head is, right? He's definitely focusing on these objectives, even when they're down by such a major deficit. It's not even a high kill game. This is just overall yep. Onik dominating in the early phase and getting to those objectives first. Look at it already, pulling the aggro oh, for the no. sword. Ooh, big set for Jor's aura. Go connect. Rosa. Nah, nah, selalu selamat. Onik on the chase, though. They spotted the back lane. You can see Albert find Alien. And langsung kita lihat Lord mungkin end sih. Onik now leading unanswered. Five Ooh. kills ahead and leading by 10k with the luminous Lord claimed in their favor. Sucks. Sans actually forced <laughs> Apex 47 to get out, and now TNZ had to pop the Brilliance once again. Fortunately for all of the changes that we know for the Lunox now, Brilliance and uh, or uh, Chaos is but my uh, and uh, relatively quicker when it comes to the cooldown, so you have to wait for when to play. The lawannya kemungkinan apa ya Brad sih? Tapi jangan diremehkan sih, Fire Blue lain Blacklist 2-0 loh. Tapi Onyx sih ini. 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 Sans is just destroying Fireflux Esports now. And it looks like they may go in for a possible game ender. Looking for Luminous Lord in the mid lane. Lanes are being Lord. currently for Onyx. I mean, look at Keyboy, right? He's looking for that setup. A major I'm Infinite may be on the way. Lord. This is crucial. Luminous Lord makes his way into the base. Onyx on the way, raising that banner high for Indonesia, trying to claim this game with an early finish at the 13 minute mark. Luminous Lord very low. Damn, goal. that's a lot and of damage. Big. Fury response from Apex 47, but Kyrie will find the kill and shut him down with the decimation. Brilliance activated from TNZ. Got the damage. Kyrie will get another. Ooh. Blazing duet from Sunshine. Blazing duet. Triple kill. No, Kyrie. Dan bagus sekali. Able to shut down Fireflex Esports with the early finish in game one of the semifinals. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very dominant fashion. 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 Very dominant Four-minute mark where Kyrie is able to take out TNT uh, and also take away the Lord with the orange bomb and allowed Onik to have so much. And this is the very quick kill onto Apex 47, like what, okay. one or two seconds. 
kita tinggal nunggu statistik kita upload langsung ini kok nggak ada gambar ya anjir Mainly because Fireflex Esports aren't able to actually utilize their Wombo combo. We never saw any Minnow and Fury into Blazing Duet or into Brilliance for Plus Order. You know, um, the Lunox bomb that went all do? over and you pop your Darkness and your Brilliance. <laughs> Good God. So really just destroy your opponents. We never saw that because there wasn't any nonton... Onyx game to Fireflex Esports. Yeah, Yeah, you're crediting. I think it's the uh, the Ruby DJ. Yeah, aplikasi ga? Exactly. Exactly. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see that play off in their favor. And honestly, ini dia untuk MVP. Martin. What Onik was looking for. Try and test out in the early phase, and we'll rotate a little bit better. We have such a strong early composition, and there you have it. Speaking of the early game, bridging the way with the Martis, the King of the Skies, now stepping onto the ground. Kyrie, well deserved MVP. Levi. 31% damage taken. I wonder what his total damage was. Six one and one. The only death for Kyrie was when they pushed the base. Just <laughs> essentially zero. You know that you're not gonna count it because it's just like an, a kill out of overdashing and a kill out of like the game sandwich anyways, right? So we. And uh, India spread. That's gonna be a lot for sure. And I think Suns also played this well. Um, there was a time where Apex 47 tried Statistic. to run line against. Uh, an item so because this is apex 47 prioritizing the athena shield as well as the dominant size he's okay jadi itu untuk game pertama kita lihat game kedua ya dari onyx esport let's go onyx thank you for watching minasan don't forget to like comment subscribe and see you to the next one